every time I come to Chattanooga and I'm in this area <laughs> walking Mario, um, I have incredible encounters. And I prayed this morning for an encounter and this place right over here where the white car is, you're, you're not gonna believe what just happened. <sighs> I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Um, I just started talking to this, she had a dog and the dog was really friendly and big and she started talking about her dog and I started talking about Biam's dog and I, I told her about, you know, um, Mario being my Jesus dog and um, before I knew it, I was getting closer and closer uh, to her perch, per porch area. That's when she really started sharing her story of her life, of her and her daughter. She says, my daughter is a, a, is a miracle. Apparently there was a really bad accident and she should have been dead and she had brain trauma, and she even had brain trauma. She didn't tell me the full story at first, but she told me about uh, this accident, and her daughter is graduating, and she's a miracle. Pulled out of Steps to Christ. Um, she was a believer, and she said, yes, she was. But she says, you know, I don't believe like how other people believe. And she began to tell me uh, some of her beliefs that um, she believes we have free will, we can choose good or evil. Um, as she believes that the kind of, you know, we live in a world where there are men who have, um, you know, they control everything. So, you know, I, 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 I listened to her. It was um, interesting. And, and, um, and I agreed with a lot of what she said. You know, I'm not there to, um, to judge. I'm not there to point to doctrinal differences you know when I'm having an encounter with someone it's true truly the power of the Holy Spirit that is leading so she kept talking and then before I knew it she's like I she said I just got to tell you this and you could tell that she felt compelled to tell me she says I was living in my I think it was her cousin's house and she said um, one day I just had this impression and she says I'm telling you I don't know where it came from I, I, I don't she says I, I know this is gonna sound crazy but I'm gonna tell it to you and she said, uh, we were staying in um, her office. That's where we were sleeping. It was filled with um, a lot of stuff. And she said, I just had this impression that I needed to clean. And she said, I started to clean everything. She said, I took all the scissors and, and sharp things and, and put them in order. And I put them um, on the ground. She said, I took all the towels. And she says, and this is the strangest thing. She said, I cleaned every corner. I got er everything out of the office, put it in the corner. And then she said, I took all the towels and put them in a huge pile, a huge pile around this Okay, I gotta I gotta finish the rest of the story because I am I am I am overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed by um, how much God loves us. I am overwhelmed. Um, as I approached this woman's porch, she she said she wants to share this story with me. And um, she says, you know, I, I know this is going to sound crazy. In fact, I think I did go crazy, but I, I had this. She says, I don't know what it was. She says, I can't explain it. It Something came over me. She says, something came over me. It was very, very powerful. I was staying with my cousin, and all of a sudden I just started cleaning her, her office where me and my daughter were staying. And she said, I took all the scissors and I organized them all and put them way back in the closet. And she said, I, I took everything. It was cluttered. It was so cluttered. She said, I cleaned it all out. I took every towel, every, and then she said, I took every towel in the house, every washcloth in the house, every blanket, everything. And she said, she said, you know, there's these, these folding chairs for these kids. They're like around and they're eggs. I didn't know what she was talking about. But she says, usually they're pretty flimsy. But she says, and I'm, I swear, I swear, I swear, I don't know where this chair came from but as I was cleaning the office there it was it was this big heavy bulky chair and she said it was for a child so she said in that chair I started piling all this laundry around it piles and piles and piles from the whole house and she said I think I lost my mind I don't know why I was doing but but everything was put away clean and she said when my cousin came she's like what is going on she said have you lost your mind and she's like, where are my towels? And she says, you're, you're going to have to leave. She says, I'm going to give you one day and you guys are out of here. And so she says, I, she couldn't explain it. Her cousin was mad. 
So they go to bed that night, and she explained to me exactly how they were sleeping. They were on the floor in this office in a corner. She said her daughter was facing one way, and she said she was facing the other way, and her head was touching her daughter's head. She said, we didn't know this, but while we went to sleep, there was a guy out there who was driving drunk. He had hit a, a berm, he had hit a fence, he had hit a car, and he kept going and going and going. He was driving in a pickup truck going over 100 miles an hour, and, he said, and she said nothing slowed him down until he hit the house. He went to a trailer like this. She says he hit the house and the truck split in half and the upper half came in to the office where they were sleeping. She said it was like a tornado struck that office. Everything shattered, the, the sheetrock. She said her daughter was slammed against the wall. She said there was a hole this size of her daughter's head from the impact. She flew back and hit the 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 sheetrock an impression of her body was afterwards when they pulled her out was still on the sheet rock she said when her daughter flew and 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 i guess cuz she she hit and i don't know how where if she flipped over or what happened but she said she landed on the pile of clothing where the child's chair was Her daughter's alive today, graduating and going to college. I looked at her and I said, you weren't crazy with what happened. This impression that you had, I said, you know that was the Holy Spirit. You know that was your guardian angels preparing that room with you. That God gave you that impression to save your life. And she said, I know. She says, I know. It was so powerful, but this, 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 there's, there's even more to this story. There's even more. There's so much more. She recognized that she was blessed. And she said, after all these years, she said, just the other day, she said, I was, I sat my daughter down and I knew it was time to tell her the rest of the story. She says, a lot of things I haven't told her about what happened. Uh, she said, you know, after the, 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 the accident, she lost her memory. She couldn't write. She forgot how to even write her name. She says her daughter had traumatic brain injury. She couldn't speak for a long time. And she said, how ironic that they left there and they moved into a place. And the teacher, her very first teacher, was a Christian. And she said she really helped save my daughter's life. And she worked with me, both of us. She said, I had to tell this teacher because she couldn't communicate with my daughter. And I started teaching her sign language. And it was amazing. She said, our relationship, we just became such good friends. And then I had to admit to her, she said, I can't tell anybody this. But she said, I can't even sign my name. There's days when I forget who I am. And I can't tell anybody because I'm afraid that they're going to take my daughter away. And here, this Christian woman that God brought to help her recover. So uh, I, I'm standing there on the porch just, uh, you know, it, it was very powerful. And I said, you know, sister, you have something. You get that, right? I said, there's a scripture that says, well, there's two. For we know that all things work for good according to those who love the Lord. And I said, y you, you see what happened. That you had, because she says that, you know, I go through the storm and then I recover. I go through the storm and then I recover. I said, and you're persevering, right? Because we know all things work for good according to those who love the Lord. And then I said, and then you have a testimony. I said, you know, we have enemies and, and we've got such division right now. But I said, we are called we are called because there's a dying world out there. And I said, what you have is powerful. She says, yeah, I know. And I said, remember this. He conquered them by the, by the, by the, the power of the blood of the lamb. And we know that's, G that's, that's Jesus by his blood. And, and by the word of their testimony. 
and she says, you're right. She says, I'm going to tell you something. And then she, she proceeded to tell me how she sat down with her daughter the other day and started telling her about all the things that had happened. And then she said, this is what she said. She said, someone's going to hand me a book this week. And I am going to randomly pray. I'm going to pray over it and then randomly open it up. And I'm going to have my highlighters all ready. And the Lord is going to show us what we need to do. She told her daughter this. She says, we're at a great crossroads. And someone's going to come and hand me a book. And I couldn't believe it because she got a phone call when we were, before she shared all of this. And I had pulled out of Steps to Christ. But while she was on the phone, the Lord compelled me to reach back into my backpack and pull out the great controversy. I felt a very strong impression to do that. And now here I was. I gave her those two books. And then after, after all of this, this whole conversation, she looked at the books. She had it in her hand, right? You know, she had it in her hands. And she said, I, I, like, like God was telling her, there's going to be a book that's going to show up and it's going to have the answer. And she says, I'm all ready because I'm at a crossroads and somebody was going to bring me a book. And she says, here you are. Here you are with the book. Couldn't believe it. And then I prayed with her. I prayed with her. But then I want to tell you something else. I just just got back here and I'm still in the mist. Look at this. I'm still in the mist. I mean, this is part of my worship. <laughs> my whole morning has been been encounters and worship. And, you know, um, I came back here and um, <laughs> my Bible was open to this page. And, um, you know, I had gotten back and, and I had, I had written in my journal about what had happened because I was just so stunned. And then here I am looking down at God's word and it was, it was opened to, um, it was open to this page and my eyes, I sat down here just to take a break, and I, I sat down. This is right after I, oh, and, and just so you know, her name was Stacy, too. She said, you know, I, I heard you say your name, and she said, I, she said you're, you're here for me today. She says, I know you're here. God put you here today for me. And, I mean, there's just so many, so much confirmation for her. It, it was one of the most... I mean, I have powerful encounters all the time. And I always say this is one of the most powerful encounters I've ever had, but this is just blowing me away. And then I came back and I sat down and my eyes fell on this, just randomly. Go stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. That's it. Right there. And, and the Lord was confirming for me, the Lord was confirming, this is what I need you to do. This is what I need you to do. And then I read this. <laughs> the miraculous opening of the prison doors and other such miracles were not written merely that we might read and wonder, but that the same faith which wrought in God's servants of old might work in us. I tell you what, my friends, I got nothing else to add to that. I ain't got nothing else to add, but be God, may God get all the glory for what he just did. So please pray for Stacy and Natalie. Um, they're at a crossroads. God brought them the books. He brought them the messenger and he brought them the message. It's amazing.